An investigation is underway into the scaffolding collapse at a Sydney work site that caused the death of an 18-year-old apprentice, with video showing emotional workers arguing with authorities as they frantically tried to save him and another trapped worker. In what is the fifth workplace death on an Australian construction site this year, Christopher Cassaniti, who turned 18 last week, died at the scene after the 15 metres high scaffolding tower collapsed about 12. <music> 30 p.m. yesterday, trapping him under a pile of steel. His devastated mother, who operates a coffee canteen around the corner from the site, attended the scene about five minutes after the accident. Photo, Christopher Cassaniti with his parents on his 18th birthday, just days before his death. Supplied, Facebook, a 40-year-old man was released from the rubble after the frantic search effort and was taken to Royal North Shore Hospital. He was in a stable condition this morning. Another two workers were laying bricks at the top of the structure and jumped to safety. It is not yet known what caused the scaffolding to collapse. Video from the scene of the search shows construction workers yelling at police to f and do something while gathered around the fallen scaffolding at the Macquarie Park site. Police attempted to calm the workers, with one officer telling them he understood why they were upset but urging them to be patient. External link, tweet by Scott Morrison The police officer can be heard telling workers that if the wrong piece of scaffolding was moved the whole wall would collapse, comparing it to a giant jigsaw. Both Prime Minister Scott Morrison and opposition leader Bill Shorten tweeted their condolences to Mr. Kasanidi's family, with Mr. Morrison describing it as just heartbreaking. Workers held a minute's silence for their 18-year-old workmate, and work was halted at the site on Tuesday as a mark of respect. External link, tweet by Bill Shorten The stoppage came as SafeWork in SW began its investigation into the incident, with union officials questioning how this could happen in 2019 on an Australian worksite. CFMU Assistant Secretary Darren Greenfield described it as devastating. It shouldn't happen, he said. It's very early days in the investigation, and until we get to the bottom and the roots of the cause, we don't want to speculate on anything. CFMU National Construction Secretary Dave Noonan said the workers were distressed. The union has arranged councillors, he said. Unfortunately, they, get called to these matters all too often. This tragedy in particular is causing a lot of trauma and grief right across Australia. Mr Noonan said the union would monitor the investigation on behalf of its members. The builder, Balmond-based Ganethlin, released a statement describing the scaffolding collapse as a tragic incident.
In 20 years of operation we have never before had a fatality on site, so this incident is devastating, the company said. SafeWork NSW said it was employing significant resources to fully understand how the incident occurred. It is expected that an investigation could take some time, a spokeswoman said. SafeWork inspectors will work through the complexities and, a report for the coroner will be prepared. Contact page Coburn More Stories from New South Wales.